Hello everyone and welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be making my own AFL team uh, consisting of one player from every club. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as simple as picking the best player or my favourite player from each club. I've got to consider positions as well. So what we're going to do in this video is sit down, open up my Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to try and make a team based on 18 players across the league. Obviously, no bench. It's just going to be the starting 18 consisting of one player from every single club. Now, we are on the verge of grand final week, and uh, you might be thinking, oh, gee, this would be a good time to make a video relevant to the 2023 season, or maybe some draft content, trade content, what's happening in the depressing world of the West Coast Eagles right now. Well, it would make sense to make content based on that, but uh, no, too hungover today, too hungover. So I thought, let's make a fun video. Before we start making the team, if you do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it, that would be much appreciated. There's been some great growth on the channel lately. You guys are doing a great job in helping me get to my goals as well. But uh, if you are enjoying the content and you haven't subscribed yet, please, please consider doing so, obviously, completely free. Now, here we are in my glorious uh, Excel spreadsheet that I actually use for some draft stuff as well. If you go back, I've got previous drafts in here because I'm such a football nerd. So I actually use this Excel spreadsheet all the time. And then in the fourth tab here, we are going to uh, have a crack at constructing the team. Now, I thought about, you know, presenting this video a little bit differently and having, you know, graphics and well-presented dot points about who the players are, why I've picked them. But the reason I'm not doing that is actually not because I'm hungover. Uh, the reason is I kind of just wanted to raw dog it and try and construct a team on the fly. And uh, that's kind of the, the fun part of this video is the decision-making process as you go pick by pick and try and work out exactly how to balance your team. So you guys can be along for the ride as I stumble through this. So obviously on the left there, we've got uh, 18 teams uh, around alphabetically and I go through and uh, you know start listing players and then over here obviously I've got my uh, starting 18 and I'm gonna input them as I go so that you can see what we need from a from a list need point of view so where to start with this you probably just start looking at the uh, the absolute top of the competition and, and in particular I think unique players take players that you really want to have in this team and you look at areas of need you know key forwards and um, obviously key backs and rucks too um, maybe small defenders small forwards you know specific role based Based positions uh, that you really want the best of the best in and then I, my strategy so far as I'm thinking about it is probably leave the midfield for last because uh, you might have four or five teams left and you can pick the best midfielders from them and probably still construct a pretty good team all right so first thing I'm going to do is uh, who are some non-negotiables that I just want in my team the first player that's actually come to mind is Carlton's Charlie Kerno, and he is a key forward so I'm going to write that in uh, there and I'm going to plonk him at center half forward for the purposes of this team I'm gonna go ahead and center this because that is nicer. Cool, so Charlie Kerno, uh, obviously back-to-back -back Coleman's, pretty unanimous shout I would've thought for the first key forward picked, and uh, yeah, would be my first Carlton pick anyway. There's some other unique players here, you know, I, I think of Hawthorne, right, and uh, the best player by far, I would argue, is James Sicily, and kind of a unique player as well, adds a bit of flexibility, can probably play as a key back, but I might slot him in, into a back pocket as a, like, a third tall, but we'll see. I don't really know the list balance of my team yet, so uh, we'll see see whether he actually makes it a center half back. We can obviously move things around as we go. Uh, who else do I want on my team? I'm thinking from the demons, the best player is probably Christian Petrarca, but I'm going to go Max Gorn purely because he is still quite a unique player and uh, probably the best ruck in the game. I would take him over Tim English. So he slots into my team as the ruck. So we're cooking with gas here, guys. What else can we look at? Probably going to add Dustin Martin to this team. Uh, I know that he's a little bit over the hill, but, you know, statistically was uh, an outstanding forward for Richmond this year, and I still think he's probably still got a bit of gas in the tank. So he's going to make my team. Where do I play him? I'll probably play him on a half forward flank. Again, we could move things around, uh, but I play him primarily a forward, obviously, who rotates through the midfield too. Now, I did say that I was going to leave the midfield too a little bit later on but we can sort of um, improvise a little bit here there's one player that I just need in my team and that's Marcus Bontempelli in my opinion probably the best player in the game in terms of you know when he's on he is unstoppable so I'm going to chuck him into my center position there and we are starting to get a little bit more balanced team obviously we've got a couple of forwards a ruck a center and a third tall slash key defender in James Sicily another unique player that comes to mind that I think needs to be in this team and doesn't have a lot of replaceability in terms of getting someone from another team to play that role is GWS's Toby Green. Absolute star, obviously the captain of that football club and uh, had a terrific season and, you know, just a clutch player. I think that's no-brainer. Toby Green comes in. I might actually play him uh, in a pocket for now. We'll see. We'll mix it around the forward line. Cool. So, defenders, defenders. Um, oh, God, I've got to pick a West Coast player. That's hard. 
I was thinking about two different players here, um, Tom Barras and Elliot Yo, and I think I'll start with Tom Barras and see if it changes to Elliot Yo. If I get an opportunity to improve that key back position, uh, I might go with um, Elliot Yo instead. I've got to pick an eagle. Um, you know, there's Tim Kelly, there's Oscar Allen, but I think uh, I think Tom Barras is probably the one I'd go just for team balance right now because uh, we'll see we'll see as it goes on. Collingwood, I'm going to go Nick Dacos. He's probably their best best player to be fair, but also in terms of position or versatility for a start and uniqueness. Uh, I think he's going to slot into this team as a ha <clears throat> excuse me, halfback flanker who can roll through the midfield as well. That's a no-brainer as well. So Nick Dacos onto my halfback flank. And we are starting to get a little bit of balance to this team now. I kind of want a genuine small defender or at least someone who can provide a bit of run. And I think I'm going to go with St Kilda's Jack Sinclair. Uh, obviously, all Australian this year, terrific season, and um, I'm going to chuck him on my halfback flank, and that is starting to look good. So I'm happy with that. What else do we need? Sydney's a tough one, actually. What I really need here now is a couple of wingmen. Okay, so who are the best wings in the game? The two all Australian wings were they Golden and Dawson, or is that just who I put in my team? With Sydney, it's a tough one. Who is their number one player? I mean. Uh this year, you would say it was Golden. You'd expect him to go pretty high in the Brownlow count. Obviously, Lance Franklin, I'm not including in this video because he has retired. Uh, yeah, so yeah, just doesn't make the cut. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to pause the video there for one moment to bring you an important message from Druzy's Athlete Academy. Now, as we wrap up the 2023 season, it's time to map out your goals for next season. Now, if you're a young footballer or general athlete, actually, your coach may have highlighted areas for improvement going into next year, such as adding muscle mass, improving your running ability, or enhancing your explosiveness. Now, you probably know where you roughly want to be by the end of preseason, but you're probably unsure about the most effective way to get there. Now, helpfully, Druzy has three years experience working with elite level footballers. As a result, he's learned and applied strength and conditioning strategies that will help deliver concrete results. Now, these results that you're gonna get go beyond just mere numbers. You know, superficial stuff like increasing your bench press or trimming a couple of seconds off your 2km time trial. The methods that you get through the Druzy's Athlete Academy are actually tailored to your specific needs as an athlete. Now, beyond these superficial quantifiable gains, the feedback that the athletes at Druzy's Athlete Academy often give are that their training has actually translating in their game going to another level. Some of the feedback has been that people are able to tackle with more force or confidently break away from contests, they're able to kick further and being stronger in marking contests. Now, you know where you want to be by the end of preseason. Druzy has the experience and knowledge and results to get you where you want to be. Now there's a limited time offer through Druzy's Athlete Academy where there are 10 different free one week trials. So essentially all you have to do to express interest in this is go find Drew's Athlete Academy on Instagram and DM him the message free preseason. I'll leave the information of how to contact Drewzy in the description of this video. So these one week trials are fantastic because obviously with no strings attached, you can experience the program risk free. Take action today, start building the foundations for a really strong next season. And if you do end up going through a program for Drewzy's Athlete Academy, remember to use the code TRUE4020 for 20% off. Thanks guys, we'll get back to the video now. You know what? I'm going to chuck it in Errol Golden because I do need genuine wingman. Errol Golden goes on that wing and I might even go with the Crows here with Jordan Dawson as well just to get my wings under lock because who else would it be at Adelaide? There is Tex Walker but I think for positional need I'd probably go Dawson here. Remember this isn't just about picking the best player from every club. I'm trying to balance out a team here and I need some genuine wings and I think Jordan Dawson is probably one of the best on offer. So I'm happy with that. But again, we could we could move things around. Dawson here, okay. I suppose part of the reason I wasn't sure about adding Tex is because I'm also wary. I've got North Melbourne here and I think there's one clear choice, maybe two, uh, between LDU and Nick Larkey, but I'm gonna go with Nick Larkey. He had 70 goals this season, that's crazy. All Australian and uh, yeah, an outstanding player. Would the team be stronger with uh, Tex into the side? Maybe, we'll see. It's getting a little trickier here. I do need another key back and I'm looking at Brisbane, uh, but I'll actually the, the one that stands out probably is Geelong and the t play that I take is Tom Stewart, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt. There is danger field, but I think Stewart's more consistent. And what I'll do is I'll actually chuck him as the third tall, as the interceptor, and I'll put Sicily as my outright uh, center half back. So Sicily and Barras are the two key backs. I've got my spine now, Bontempelli in the center, Kerno and Larky up front. I'm happy with that. Now the Brisbane Lions, I could in theory pick Harris Andrews. That is the first play that's come to mind. But in terms of, uh, you know, replaceability, the gap between Harris Andrews and probably the other batch of key forwards there, probably, or key backs rather, 
isn't as big as maybe the gap between Charlie Cameron and some of the other small forwards I could potentially get with the remaining team. So I'm going to chuck Charlie Cameron in as my center, uh, forward pocket, what am I saying? So he joins from the Brisbane Lions. Happy with that. That's a good list so far. So who have I got left? I've got Essendon, Fremantle, Gold Coast, and Port Adelaide. It's probably time to start picking some midfielders. I'd start with Fremantle, and the two that come to mind are Brayshaw and Sarong. I think Sarong's had a slightly stronger year this year and probably adds a little bit more uniqueness uh, to this team as well. He's pretty tough and in and under scrappy midfielder and I think that adds a bit of balance to Bont and Pelly. And with the Gold Coast Suns, like I think the clear choice, there's probably Noah Anderson, but I, uh, oh, and there's Ben King as well. I could go with Ben King. I could go with Ben King. So this is the combo I'm thinking. I've got Essendon and Gold Coast. So I could go a, I've missed someone in the back pocket here. Oh, I've got Port Adelaide as well. But hear me out. I could go with a combo of Ben King as the third tall or yeah, one of three key forwards in this team and then pick Merritt to join my midfield or I could pick Took Miller in the midfield and choose Jake Stringer as my third. The combo of Zach Merritt and Ben King is probably stronger than Miller and Stringer. But for list balance, I feel a bit weird having <coughs> three genuine key forwards in King, Larkin, and Kerno. None of them are actually like third talls, and I, I do want to keep some integrity with this. It will keep it'll be a little bit different to the All-Australian team. I want this team to actually function, purely because that's just my preference. So I might go uh, Gold Coast took Miller, Essendon Jake Stringer, because again, a fairly unique player. I suppose there was also Kyle Langford. Nah, I'm going to go with Jake Stringer, because I want to. At the end of the day, this is my team, who cares? And it took Miller. Okay, then again, that adds some balance to that midfield. Bontempelli, Miller, and Sorong are three pretty diverse midfielders, and Goulden and Dawson are both players who could roll through on ball, and then you got Martin Green up front. I keep saying up front, I've been in the UK too long. Okay, one player left from Port Adelaide, and it'll be a defender. I think Dan Houston's had a terrific season. Could I do better? You know, there's uh, obviously Zach Butters, and there is Connor Rosie, so... A little bit controversial not having those guys in the team, but it is uh, a little bit harder to find a really, really good sort of medium rebounding defender. Certainly because Port Adelaide was the only team left. So that's just what I've come up with. There's a million different combinations you could do for this, I'm sure. So we'll review the team. I've got three defenders in Barras, Sicily and Stewart. Again, pretty pretty uh, balanced, uh, maybe a little bit undersized. So Barras is about 196. Got plenty of running carry with Houston, Dacos and Sinclair. Does it lack a real defensive edge between those three? Perhaps they're all kind of rebounders, but they're bloody good ones. Uh, Dawson, Bonton, Pelly, Golden is a nice center line. And my forward line's very dangerous. With Green, Martin, Kerno, Charlie Cameron, Stringer, Larky. That is, that is an outstanding forward line. Obviously, there's no bench, uh, but because there's only 18 teams, there's no point filling out a bench because you'd have to double up, double dip on some teams. But it probably needs a second ruck for a start, but obviously, you're just going to pick one because there's only those 18 blokes on the field. But let me know in the comments what you think of this team, guys. And tell you what, if you enjoy this, and I kind of did enjoy this, I might do this anyway, but if you did enjoy this, I might consider doing like an under 22 version of this exact same concept. You know what, screw it, I'm going to do it. I don't care if this video bombs. This is kind of fun. But as always, guys, look forward to your input. I'm sure I'm going to get slaughtered for some of these selections, but we all have different opinions. Uh, but by all means, let me know in the comments what your team would look like. As always, guys, appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching the channel lately. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.